Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Laura. Today we're making cottage cheese. I had some milk that was past its sell-by date and I needed to get it used up. So I decided to um, make cottage cheese with it. Um, I hope that this turns out because I love cottage cheese and if it does, then I will be making my own cottage cheese from now on. But I just was excited to try it and take you along with me. So to my kitchen we go. Today I'm making cottage cheese. I've never done this, but I wanted to for a while. So I'm gonna pour one gallon of milk. I buy it in half gallons. So two half gallons equals one gallon. And we need to get the temperature up to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. But by doing so, we need to make sure that we're stirring it so that we don't burn the milk on the bottom. So I'm gonna let this get up to a temperature and we'll see you in a minute. So we're still just here at the point where the water is coming up to temperature. And we're just making sure we stir it so nothing sticks. I know, I know that this is not an exact art using this thermometer, but I got a reading of 190, so I think I'm going to call it here. So we're going to turn off the heat, and we're going to stir it a couple of times. Look at that already. And then we cover and let it sit off of the heat for 30 minutes. So I'll see you back then. All right, so it has now been 30 minutes. We have curds. So what I need to do is scoop them out and put them through a strainer that I have some uh, flour sack on to strain the whey out. This is so exciting. And then once I have this all strained, I will be back to show you what we, our next step is. I figured I should show you that I pulled out my bigger strainer because it was hard to do with just the little one. So I'm gonna finish this and I'll be back. I was getting a little frustrated because it's hard to strain. So I'm just gonna kind of do a poor strain. I'm not saving the way. So all these little bits at the very end, I just wanted to make sure we get them all. And so I figured the best way to do that would be to strain it through like that. So great. And then what we're supposed to do is make this flour sack into a ball and rinse with cold water. I lost the curd and I don't want to lose any. All right, so we're gonna rinse and squeeze until we rinse it cool. All right, so now I've already messed up. We're gonna kind of squeeze it. So I'm gonna put it into this bowl. I'm gonna put it into this bowl right here. Okay. 
Now, remember we used a gallon of milk, so this doesn't feel like a ton of cottage cheese. But there it is. So now we add up to a teaspoon. I'm gonna start with a half. Okay, three quarters. And then I'm gonna fluff the salt into the cottage cheese, like so. It's still steaming. And then it says that you can add, at this point, like heavy whipping cream, or not at this point, after it cools, you can add heavy whipping cream. I don't have heavy whipping cream. I have whole milk, so I might add some. I'm gonna take a little taste. It's cheesy. I'll see you after it's been cooling for an hour. So it's been a little bit over an hour, probably closer to two. These are our cold down curds. It is very dry. So I, at this point, it says to add um, heavy cream, but I don't have heavy cream. So I'm going to go with whole milk because that's what I do have. And I'm going to add, I'm going to start with two tablespoons to see if that helps. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to add a little bit more salt also. Um, yeah. We're going to go with this two more. Hmm. This is really interesting to me. It's still very dry, but since I'm not exactly familiar with how homemade cottage cheese comes out, I'm going to use one of my little bit spoons. We're going to try a little bite. Okay, definitely more salt. I'm going to um, eyeball it. Probably about that much would work. I'm going to do two more because uh, tablespoons of milk because while it does have like the flavor of cottage cheese, it's very dry. This would be excellent to uh, make like um, lasagna. Oh yeah, that would be really good. Okay, let me try that. Oh, that's much better. All right. Let me see. I think I'm going to leave it there. I might have put a little too much salt in. And we're going to call that our cottage cheese. I call that a success. Thanks for coming with me on my journey. This was awesome. It... Like you can see it's much drier than the cottage cheese you buy at the store, but you could just add more liquid if you needed to, if you didn't like it like this. But I think I'm gonna enjoy it. Have a great day. Thanks for coming to my video and give me a like and please subscribe.